good angle. Mm, that should be good enough. Leave it here. Um, let me pick up this stream. Let's see if it loads from this. Yes, it does. Get rid of these ads. No. Try again. Start in one second once I get. Oh, there we go. I can hear myself. Welcome, everybody. Um, first stream of 2021. Thought I would save this model for some of it. Uh, of course, I'm not going to collapse all of it. Um, I will um, collapse what I can in one hour. So I'll be live for one hour. See what I can do. Who do we have? Welcome, everyone. Welcome, Simon. Um, Finn. Orikami. Uh, awesome, you're using the new picture. Sweet. Um, welcome, everybody. So, uh, I've already got all the pre creasing done. Just show us. So, I'm really digging this colour for this elephant. I'm going to make another sheet for his African one. Um, Make it a really nice, rich, brownish, beige colour. And the other side. Uh, it's not as white as I want it, but when I fully have the base for, um, what's it called, the tusks, I will, for the tusks, I'll show you. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, basically when I get to, obviously off camera, I won't get up to this point, but once I get to like step, like 172, I'll unfold this part where the tusk is and then wrap, the same as I did with Lang's cactus, I will wrap uh, white paper or greyish, I'll look up the colour of the tusks and stick it on with blue tack and then recollapse it, it's probably the best way, because I don't know how much of the corner will be using the tusk. So I think that's a good way to do it. Oh, I'll just close the damn book. And then find the page again. Okay, there. how's on? I got RBX from Roblox. Awesome. Um, good paper. Thank you. It took a few attempts to make this, but I know how to replicate it every time now. Trial and error has led to perfection. Is it creased? Yeah, this is creased as well. So it's already pre-creased. And um, the texture is built into the paper. So I'm excited to see how this turns out. Right, let's just start. So I've got an hour to do what I can. Good thing is I've already got um, a lot of it pre-creased. Um, for instance, step 57, I've got all these creased, um, got 58 creased, 59 done, 60 done, 61, 62, so I can jump straight to 63 when I get to that. So I'm 50, 60, 63. Anyway, let's start, uh, I don't know where to keep the book. Right, it looks nice like that on camera. I should probably just keep it here then. Um, so where are we? Step 39. Has anyone never made this before? This model? Pre-creasing is rubbish. I hate pre-creasing um, angled grids. I mean, I'd rather shape region skills than do this. Yeah, I need to double check to make sure. Because there's a lot of references you need to keep an eye on. Um, this one. Yeah, I've already got them made. And I've made some of the pieces mountain and bar folds depending on what they should be before I started. Make things easier. 
And then just double check to make sure this is right. Yeah, it looks right. It looks right. I need to fold this model again sometime. Such a good model. Oh, you made it, Drew. Awesome. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Doesn't seem too many hard steps from looking at the diagram, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, again, I'm only alive for one hour, so I'll see what I can get done through this uh, in that time. Okay, now mountain fold, valve fold. Yeah, so I'm going to actually unfold it and then make this mountain fold just to make it a bit more accurate. I don't know why I never did this. Because I hate folding through multiple layers, so it's a bit more accurate to just do through one. Like that. Because the other one's already a valid fold. And then that's not a mountain food, but that's thin. Okay, and I won't crease too sharp because yeah, I know you're not really supposed to um, make these creases well, let me see. Yeah, you unfold it back, so. Where is this crease on this side? Where is it? I mean, this paper is... You can't even see the creases. I mean, it took me like three hours to make the reference points. Just on the sides. So I could hardly see the creases. But that's that's a good thing in a way. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. And let's see. Mountain fold. This crease. Valley fold 45. This. Okay. Don't know how this is going to work. Well, let me just do it this for. Tell if it's 19 degrees or not. Is that right? Yeah, it is. How can I tell this is 19 degrees? I should probably done this off camera as well, just to help. Yeah, I need to line these up. Have anything on me to tell me if it's yeah, it looks about right. I'll go with that. Did I crease it full up here? Yeah. Definitely looks right. Right, I'm just gonna do a few more checks just to make sure. Um, Oh wait, I could just uh, fold this over and get the reference. Very gentle. Hmm. Right, we're going with this, we're going with this. Uh, welcome everyone, oh sorry I wasn't reading the chat there, I was just um, Try to concentrate. It'd have helped if I'd done this part off camera as well. True quota fans fold through the layers. Yes. Not me. No way. That is illegal. That's a, that is an illegal move. And and folding shouldn't be allowed. Is that all the way up?
Oh yeah, it goes up quite a bit. this so we're already getting somewhere um hey siraj thank you for joining welcome Hactan. um dennis it is really advanced but i'm not surprised because he has a complex folder yeah um shuki's models are complex and diagramming is complex the pre-creasing uh angle grids need you just need to be really precise um but yeah, I should manage hopefully. Uh, so what's next? Unfold to step 40. Okay. Okay, right. We have a complicated sink. May take me a few attempts to get this. Oh no, fact it's a mountain mountain. Can we just see? Mountain, mountain, mountain. So yeah, it must be. It must be that way. In fact, it may help if I just... Right, move this book out of the way. So I can just crease these parts. Make it more accurate. And easier as well. And then better not this way. It'll be easier once it gets, the paper gets smaller. It's just the first initial steps. It can always be the trickiest. Um, right, let's recap to where I was. There. Uh, welcome, Finn. Um, I right, don't need to spam so much. <laughs> Let's try this sink. Let's see if I can get it. Do I assume it's this? Oh, should I should this part now before. Oh yeah, that's part as well. Yeah, it's going to be one of the most weird things. You tried the giraffe a few days ago, but got to stay at 58 until the paper turned to mush. Yeah, the giraffe is quite tricky. I made it a while ago. Yeah, as long as you're really precise and pre-creasing, then that, that really helps a lot. And then of course, having the right paper also helps. Oh, I forgot to make this piece. Wait, I need to... I'm going to unfold it again to make these two pieces. I think I must too.
Watch me get stuck on the first sink. not it's a closed sink up here completely missed completely missed that there we go I failed already How is this that again? Right, we're going back to start. <laughs> Can't believe I missed that. sink No, I don't. I am stuck already. I knew this would happen so much. Let's try this again. Let me see. supposed to be wait let me just check how is it supposed to look underneath underneath right look once out No, this is not metallic paper. I believe this is it. So I'm going to try and tidy it up. Let me just check the diagram.
Oh, so I know that's correct. Yeah, I'm definitely on the right track. Definitely on the right one. Oh, there we go. Oh, I believe this is correct. I mean, you could, you could still do that open and then just glue it at the end or peg it however you want. I mean, it still has the possibility to keep it open. Let me just double check. All the Sense there. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That is lip shape. Nope, lip shape is way too thin. Not double tissue. Um, let me read back up. Uh, all right, we all got to go. What? Well, yeah, there's one there. All right, thank you for joining, Obami. No, I've never fooled with tissue foil before. Right. Next step. That's my only fear when I go live, as I get if I, if I get stuck. It's quite annoying if it does happen. Um, oh, where was that? Yeah, I expect better from you. I just say mush it. No, mush folding is also legal while folding through layers as well. Happy with that. Let's go to the next step, step 47. Wish I knew how to make this paper. Yeah, uh, Penny makes this paper for me. He's the paper creator. Already had those uh, mountain and valley folds to make it easier. This is going to be quite a big elephant. For the size of the sheet, it's going to be a really nice model. Um, mountain fold, I've never made this mountain fold. And that's not a valley fold. Oh god. Anyway. That should not be that hard. Yeah, valley fold all the way up. That works. Pretty sure it's on her special paper she's been doing recently, not just common tissue. Could be, could be not. But I mean, your guess is as good as mine. As the, as the reply I give to everyone that asks what type of paper is it, what type of paper is it. But it's all about experimenting with, once you get to grips with how to make paper, um, you just experiment and then some will work some will, will not and then you'll basically learn from it if that makes sense that's basically my process on how I, I've made everything all the papers I use Fearless, I remember your old Xbox 360 TF2 videos man oh yeah they were good <laughs> those were the days uh, glitch videos only the memories That is going back to yours. Like yours. Oh, yeah, I've got my tools. <laughs> Just in case I need them. And I'll watch one thing. Alright, thank you for joining, Torbius. No, that's what last too long. This is only an, an hour in length. So, we're good for now. 
Um, should I do that on the other side as well? No, not yet. Anyway, I can fold this down. And then it's a spread sink. And we've not to make extremes here, as the diagram says. Yeah, and just make sure there's a bag fold all the way up. Yep. easier if you can make the crease but we can't so let me see where the spread sink is yeah so it's up to that crease whereas we don't have the crease here let me see first yeah it's up to this one so I can make the crease and right here. Time is it here? It is uh, seven thirty p.m. And then we just put it back first. It looks like we've gone halfway. That's it there. Crease one. No. Where do you see? Oh, three and one, two, three. Yep. That's it. I'm not too, I'm not too worried about this end because there's no creases here to indicate the position. Looper Sensei, he is outside and he's one in right there. In you come, buddy. He is in. I have to keep the curtain open slightly. In fact, he wants through the door as well. one successful stream where I'm not disturbed with cat my cats. 
Um, yeah, that that's the biggest problem with streaming, is cats seem to know when you're doing something important, and then they're like, I'm going to screw this up for you. Every time, every time, it's, it's so funny actually. Um, right, so do the same on this side. Which, which crease was it first? So it's the first one in. It's this one here. But yeah, they'll, they'll always know when you're doing something important and then they'll, they'll ruin it for you. Yes, yeah, Anne has a new book, Nature Study. Definitely recommend it. If you want a good challenge from diagrams, his are the most complex. And his models are extremely precise and unique. Well, I've got to ask, uh, are you able to see alright? Is the angle good enough? Should I come in closer? I just kept it this height because I wanted to show all the paper, etc. Now that the model's getting um, smaller, I'll just push it out first. So I can do this. As the paper's getting smaller, I could probably come in closer. Okay, here we are, attempt number two. One, two, three. Um, need to make this the bottom three. Oh, yeah, I forgot to make this crease. Up to here. Is that correct? Yeah. Where is the, where are the crease off right here? Next to there. Grant, what made, uh, or maybe that the foolish, um, I can't even speak, yeah, I read that part, you should get it, yeah, definitely, foolish, foolish, uh, don't you dare call me that, uh, don't question Master Lopper's observations, yeah, uh, it's a habit, but, and I keep getting in trouble for it, he's thinking of getting another human to replace me, so I, I need to be careful of what I do and what I say, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about getting that one. Yeah, it's a really great book. Support him, buy the book. It's worth the money. I mean, you put six years of work into this book. So, it's highly recommended. And I think I've already made half the models out of the book so far, which is pretty good. One, two, three, and I'm just double checking. Where is that crease? I can't even see the crease. One, two, three. Yeah, we're going here. Right. And then, yeah, I need to take a bit more. Go with us. Yeah, it looks a bit right. Go with that. Okay. There we go. Done. This part was the stream. Froze. No, it's the tablet that's froze. Uh, one second, one second. I um, need to close this again. Find YouTube. Quickly load up. Find my stream. I, hate I need to get a new tablet so this doesn't happen. It's a really old one. Um, 
and there's real help. Okay, add a player. Get rid of those. Run again. There, we're back. Right, I'm gonna go back to the. Yeah, I definitely get that. Gunner, what made you decide to change your channel from gaming glitches to origami? Oh, well, originally I wasn't just gaming. I was uh, card flourishing, gaming, um, random videos, non-gaming videos. But I, I always had uh, origami as a background. If, if you if you've been watching me since then, I only uploaded only uploaded origami about once a month back then but I just got to the point where I was sick of playing games I was sick of going on the Xbox hitting record on the capture card and hoping I get something worthy to record and upload and then I just got to the point where I've had enough of this and then I thought I'll do origami I'm pretty good at it I think um, and I'll see where it goes so that's how it all happened Yeah, it was the best decision ever. I don't think I'll ever make it a gaming video again. I still have the capture card, I've just uh, uninstalled it from the computer. Right, so step 51. For those that have just joined, um, I'll be streaming for an hour and a half. I did say an hour, I'll do it an hour and a half because of getting stuck at the first step. Step 45, I got stuck for like 15 minutes. I knew it was going to happen. Um, but so yeah, I'll stream for longer. So what? Which one are we on? Step forty, uh, fifty-three. Both this. Okay, push in the dark region. And invert and reverse fold the tail back outwards. Okay. Oh yeah, so we use these creases, I think. Ones that we already have creases. Um, you know, the, see the cool thing is, see because Shuki Kettle's diagrams are uh, really cleanly made and really good quality. I think they would be really good to ghost crease. What do you think? You know, I was actually tempted to, do, to uh, ghost crease this. I'd have been curious to see how that turned out. I think that would definitely work. So I'm going to assume that this is correct. I'll try and make it... So I'll do that. Um, what other books are good? Yeah, license to fold is good as well. I watched of Satoshi Kamiya too. How much do you think it is worth? How much is your one worth? Um, like to buy or sell, but uh, probably buy would be like forty. Well, it's like works uh, the third the his third book was seventy dollars, but I bought it in the convention uh, last year, the year before. Um, so maybe like fifty pounds worth, but they're they're well worth. The books and that supports artists as well they take all that time to diagram to design to draw up publish etc so it will really help them as, as well worth it as well maybe that's not right so i've pushed in that darkened region Oh yeah, that's supposed to go back, I think. Yeah, this comes down the way. I believe so. Like that. Because the diagram has a little part underneath it. And then up like this. Yeah, that's it. For anyone that is folded in the future, 
that's what it's like. Maybe this could help someone that's making it, that clicks on the video and watches this part. Wait, right, fold this part down. And then up. Wait, right, is that right? Yeah, okay, I need to make these barcodes. Oh no, wait, is it? <laughs> How high has it got? Near the top. Oh, that's way too low. I set myself up there and failed. So we need to pleat it. I don't think I'm stuck again. Wait, let me read this. Invert and reverse fold the tail back outwards. So it does get smaller. Right, I'm going back to the start again. Let's see if I've missed anything. So we had this. Push in the darkened region, which I just did, then that part becomes a valley fold. Oh, this up. I think that's it. Wait, no it's not. Is it? Oh yeah, because the valley folds. No. That's a bit. I think I had it right the first time. Yeah, it doesn't go up any higher enough, and the picture is a wee gap at the top, so happy with that. I'm going to assume that that's correct. Uh, wait there, I see. MC Cola is very hard to ruin things with. Oh, he's talking about that. Oh. What is the best place to get? Double tissue paper or with different colours on both sides. Uh, people sell it, maybe. You can buy it from them. Um, oh, someone's left there. I gotta go revise my massive Spanish test I have tomorrow. Alright, see you later, Tobias. Thank you for joining. Uh, but learn how to make it yourself, as you'd probably save a lot of money Le learning how to do it yourself. Takes a bit of time, a bit of practice, a um, bit of investment, but it works. Okay, so I've done this. So now, 57, you'd have to make these creases. Yeah, I'll probably do that again. I've already made this one, so it's all the way up. Makes it easier when you already have the creases in place. And then the same on this side.
yes, I look at the origami shop, but uh, both sides were the same colour or a variation. Uh, most people make it themselves nowadays. The things you need to make it yourself are some sort of MC glue, like wallpaper paste. People even use just clear glue, uh, wood glue, diluted. Um, then you need a surface to make the paper on. And when, when, when people ask me what surface, you make it on anything that doesn't absorb liquid will work. Even this table. I can make paper on this table. I'm pretty sure it'd work. I've never tried it. Though I wouldn't want to ruin it. But anything that's not, that won't absorb liquid. Um, so cutting mat, glass, plastic. People make it on their windows. They are uh, glass as well. Mirrors. That all works. And then that's basically what you need. And a paintbrush. And then that's all the things you need. And it's just trial and error from there. Okay, so the good thing is, step 58, I've already made those creases and pre-creasing. Same with 59, same with 68, same with 61. I've already done it on the other side, so I can jump to step 63. And here we go, another big uh, complicated sink. Let's see where it is. First of all, valley fold, mountain fold. Then push in this part. Okay, so it's going to take a few minutes just to reverse some of these creases. Try and make sure I'm on camera as well, so you can see what I'm doing. So I've done that one. What is next? Let me see. Uh, yeah, I've been hanging up tissue for, but they no longer sell or in the middle. Yeah, it goes quick. I was right now looking for the tutorial for his. I'm not even going to pronounce that uh, from this book. Yesterday I finished making the camel and the simple dragonfly. Awesome. Um, I've made the dragonfly as well. I've not made the camel. Uh, I've not really got paper prepared for it yet. But I really would like to at some point. Uh, let me just see. Um, try to see how this all comes together. Is it this? No, it's this, I think. I'm gonna make this first. This is supposed to be a mountain fold. Oh, what are my thoughts on his new horse? It's a stunning horse. It does look to be as tricky as normal. It does look really tricky. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice one. Though I don't think I'll attempt it unless he makes a diagram for it. Although I could uh, ghost crease it, that would definitely be something. 
You know, you know, the fact that I may actually do that. If I can make paper for it, then I think that would be a really good, cool thing to do as it goes through. But yeah, it's a, it's a really nice model. And his, his new version is much better. Oh, this one right here. I believe it's these two diagonals that I never saw. Is it? Yeah, they're, they're diagonals. Yeah. But they're not right in folds. So it's going to be a bit more tricky. These two right here. This one and this one, they make 45 uh, 90 degree angles. And then this will probably just slot inside this. Uh, I can't really open it up, but I can actually. Just to make this a mountain fold. Um, oh, it's a bit awkward from this angle. Wait, this one's already mountain fold. I mean, I don't understand how he comes up with these collapse processes. It has them so clean. It's just so good. So like that, um, let's pop this back in position. As expected. Yeah, so that's correct, but I'm not going to force it flat there now. I just want to make sure that everything is correctly in place before I go ahead and do that. I think it'll be easier to just unfold it and then work it from this angle. Okay, so I'll leave that side fine. And it's come together this part. Nice and neat. I just want to try and get it as neat as possible. Well, I don't know how much it's going to be used later on. So the better I can get it than now, the better later on. 
and then it's folding over to the to the roller. I'll quickly make this right and fold. Yeah, 50 hours of origami. Yeah, 50,000 hours, that is true as well. Right, what is off all these stops? Well, what have I missed? Have you guys heard of the origami, origami book, uh, One Water World? Really nice book as well. I really need to get more books. We're definitely getting, getting there. Before again, I fully flatten it. Just want to make sure everything is correct. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. So there we go. This part is done. really good and I was thinking of getting it until I just saved up for Works of Satoshi Kimiya too. Yeah definitely get your ho your hands on this uh, book as well. Super good. All the emojis really me. I'll change them every often. I just added a few. Wait, how is that finding on this tablet? I don't think I can. On here. I'm missing something. Anyway, yeah, we need more members, so I can do a members on the stream, how cool would that be? Right, let's see, next step, if I fold this down. And then unsync that part. It'd probably be easier if I just be it unfolded. No, I would not actually. Sure. So I think it's going to be quite annoying. today again and um, how does this come back together? Used again.
No, wait, that's a bit. That's a bit. Yeah. The orientation of the flaps had me a bit flustered. How are you supposed to do that, like, from that position? And you need to, let me try and do it like this. Oh, you, you really need to force that. That, that is like one really bad uh, unsync, com uh, closed sync, closed unsync. Yeah, I need to make this valley fold, look, I don't have a valley fold here. Not to get a wrinkle out there, a nightmare. Yeah, um, but the good thing is, wrinkles add texture as well. Depends on the type of paper, how you make it, if you add anything, um, they can be pretty useful. But yeah, it's a nightmare. Even uh, using a tube gets wrinkles as well. And I was thinking of a way to get the shine out of double tissue or tissue or any, any type of paper that has shine what what if you ironed it after like you make double tissue you peel it off um then you put it on like an ironing table you iron it with the heat on the shiny side that should get rid of the shiny side yeah i'm definitely going to test that See if that works. Right, where am I? Put this back in position. There we go. Yeah, watching now, uh, someone else fold is satisfying. Yeah, and it's also funny when they get stuck. <laughs> Too true. Okay, it's over here. Um, let's see. Does look quite confusing this part. So pushing the top edges of the diamond, then pull the excess paper from below. So I'm making mountain fold, mountain fold. Let's try it. Wait, is that the bar fold this one? Yeah, that's the bar fold. Um, so I need to push out the centre. Try and get access. Can't even get access to the centre. Enough to push it up. So what is it? Is it like? supposed to come here, is it like a sink? Maybe that. No, I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't think I'll get this part done on stream. So I'm going to try to see, that's a valid fold, yeah, one of those wood ones. No, so I won't flatten after you do it. So it gets pushed inside. I 
That's a bit confusing. do this off camera because it's getting confusing. No, right there. Uh, welcome Frogger. Thank you for joining the stream. Hopefully this paper isn't too thin for the model. Which paper is it? Also cami. Because um, I use double tissue and mine doesn't stand on its own. I think it's triple tissue. Could you make a tutorial on the cicada? I am Jack Lantern. I recognise the name Jack. How's it going? Nice to meet you. Uh, not gonna lie, that paper looks too thin. Uh, if it's this one, no, this is not too thin. This is absolutely perfect. The right thickness for everything because it gives enough thickness to fill the body with cotton wool and get smooth uh, contours. Right, this is being really thin. So I need to make the right fold. Nah, I don't think I get it on this screen. Let's put it back to how it was and try again. I can't find access. Definitely right. Yeah, this will take me a few attempts. Trying to see the extra creases that we have here. Oh yeah, that's not, that that will be the one that we're making up here that we have creased. Yeah, because that looks right from the diagram. So that crease is correct. Fold. I'll just make one. This can get pushed in much more. Changes to this mountain fold, and this becomes all the valley fold. Let me try this. much better at uh, crease patterns than diagrams. That all doesn't look right. Right, we're going back to the start. Yeah, that's quite confusing. So we've made few extra creases. 
Yeah, we are making um, the African elephant. So mountain, 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 mountain. That does four. That becomes a valley fold. But maybe, maybe I don't sink it in. I don't sink it in. Maybe it's just no, because then we don't have that full crease. Then come over like that. Maybe that could work. But anyway, I'll figure that out off camera. So I'm gonna stop the stream the now. We uh, we made it quite far. We did really good. A few struggles, but that's what to expect for uh, a tricky diagram. And um, it's quite annoying that when you do it live, that you get stuck and waste time. But that happens, especially on a model like this. So everyone, thank you so much for watching. The hour has been up. And I'm going to end the stream now, read the comments first. How is that possible? Anything is possible in origami. And... Alright everyone, I will see you all later. Thank you for joining the stream.